Hey, what's up everyone? So today we're going on a trip on the bike trail. I'm going to use my new Vibrelli Fat Tire e-bike rack. And this is good for e-bikes and regular bikes up to 65 pounds a piece. So what we're going to do here is regular bike on it. And then we're going to go ahead and um, go down the road with it with the GoPro mounted where it's at. Hopefully to get some good uh, views for you guys. And we're going to see how good it does going down the road with stability going over some bumps, going down the highway, and stuff like that. We're gonna see how it rides. So I got it on there. We're gonna go ahead and fold this down. Put that up. I'm gonna put my bike on first. Lift that up. Go ahead and put this pin in here. And we're gonna go ahead and strap the wheels down. And as I said in my initial video, this is one thing I like is these straps here. Front one. Oh, lost the rubber piece for this one. It must have fell off. Back in business, I found it. Don't lose this piece off of these wheel straps. And they're secure. Secured good. Now, I always take my seat out when I haul it on the bike rack. So I'm gonna take that out. One thing to note, I left the battery in just to keep it closer to the max weight of 65 pounds. Um, the bike is 63 pounds with the battery installed. So now I'm gonna go ahead and load my wife's bike up on here. And I believe I had it on here this way maybe. And you can see that top two there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take the straps that they give you and go ahead and strap the bikes down nice and tight. To the rack just as an extra security and what i'm going to do is i'm going to come up underneath that pedal that will prevent that pedal from being able to be pushed down but before i do this i'm going to go ahead and put my son's bike in back of the car because once i put that strap underneath this to hold this up it's not gonna go down all right now i'm going to go ahead and fold the rack down and load my son's bike up so i'm just going to push this pedal angle them down open the trunk and clean it out first. <laughs> Some of my locks I'm going to take with me. And I'm going to go ahead and strap these down. Now, with this rack, they only give you one strap. It would have been nice if they give you two. Because, as you can see here, this bike's a different height than this bike. So if you put them over top of both bikes, this isn't really gonna hold down my e-bike down to the rack because it's gonna be coming down on an angle like this and the bike will be able to come up if anything fails, which I doubt it will, but just to be safe. So I'm gonna use one strap on each bike. I'm gonna use another strap from one of my other racks. All right, so I got both bikes secured down good with the straps. So when I strap these down with these straps, this strap that they give you, I ran it down underneath this pedal, foot pedal here, and you can see that really, you'll never be able to push that down. So that's, that's one good thing about putting this strap on here, holding these down tight to there. So 
let's go ahead down the road and see how it holds up all right so here we go we're turning around in the driveway and we're gonna get headed out here on the trip hopefully you guys can hear my audio i got the uh cable all the way in to me sitting on the car so you can hear me going over a bump here see how it looks like it's holding up pretty good right now we're going about 50 miles per hour and I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off here till we get on the highway all right guys so we're going around a, an on-ramp here traveling about 35 miles per hour pretty sharp turn here and we're gonna go ahead and get on the highway you guys if you like this video please give a thumbs up and make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss any future videos I really appreciate it and it really helps my channel out if you guys leave a comment so we're getting on the highway here now 60 miles per hour And guys, if I didn't think that this rack would hold my bike, I wouldn't chance putting my $900 e-bike on here. So I have enough uh, confidence in this rack to try this out. A few small bumps there. We're at about 70 miles per hour right now. holding steady at 70 that's what the speed limit is here but we're gonna go ahead and get off and off the off ramp here um, after that I'm gonna shut it off for a second until we get to a spot that's a little bit bumpy and we'll see how it does hit the brakes a little bit hard all right that's hitting the brakes hard going around the turn here jiggle the wheel back and forth a little bit That's jiggling the wheel back and forth, which you're not normally going to be doing when you're driving, hopefully. <laughs> I'm going to pull out here, and she's going to try to give it a little bit of a sharp turn here. Seems pretty good. What do you guys think? Now, I'm only watching this footage on my phone, so I'm not really sure exactly how this is turning out. I'm watching it as it's recording. Um from my GoPro so I'm probably not gonna see anything until I upload it to edit it so go ahead and leave a comment below what you guys think how how the racks uh, handle them back there I'd love to see your opinion on what you think compared to a bike rack that you may own or may have owned in the past so that we can get a little bit of comparison alright so we're gonna be coming up on some railroad tracks here so I figured this would be a good good bump to test out now again this is the Vibrelli V70 Sport bike rack fat tire bike rack capable of holding up to 65 pounds per bike and if you guys are interested in this rack you could check out the link down in the description below to see the current pricing on it and also some of the other specs here's a bump air we hit with the passenger side this road's a little bit bumpy but like I said there's gonna be some railroad tracks coming up here ahead yeah this road's a little bumpy that's good give it a good test all right here we are coming up on these railroad tracks didn't look too bad in the mirror what do you guys think so now there is no rattle whatsoever where the hitch goes into the car. A lot of people suggested getting a uh, anti-rattle hitch clamp. This thing has one built in. You could put the, uh, the other one on also if you wanted to be extra secure. But the little bit of movement that you do get on this rack is coming from the bar that comes up on an angle, the bar that you can tilt down to get in the back of the vehicle 
that's where the movement's coming from on here not so much from where it goes into the vehicle here's a few bumps if you guys are still watching thanks for thanks for hanging out and watching this long I know it's probably getting repetitive now but I wanted to give a good view on um, a, a pretty decent ride not just when you're hitting bumps I want that way I wanted to give a good view of how this rack performed overall all right now this road here is perfectly smooth brand new fresh blacktop so uh, not gonna see much here other than steady smoothness there was a slight bump there but turn the wheel back and forth a little bit all right there's a uh, turning the wheel back and forth which again you'll never do normally all right guys so we're going to turn around we're trying to find the trailhead we're going on the green river trail today up oh, starting in rice's landing so there's a, a good view of turning around all right guys so we made it here we're gonna get the bikes off we're gonna head out on a ride hopefully we make it it's like 95 degrees out here so pretty hot one today so what i was talking about earlier is you could see here that most of the most of the sway is coming from about right here and i don't think it's going to really be a problem i think it's going to be fine you can see it's not moving in the hitch you're going to have some wobble in every bike rack i doubt they make one that doesn't wobble at all especially if they tilt um, some play is probably okay because when you hit a bump if it's too rigid that's when things start breaking so that gives it a little bit of cushion in my opinion. So we're gonna go ahead and get the bikes off and see you guys in a little bit. All right guys, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you think about how the rack was holding up. Like I said, I didn't watch the footage yet, so I'm curious to see what you guys think. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and I will definitely, definitely see you on the next one. If you subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss it. See you guys around.